In this lesson, I will show you how to create candle effect. Okay, so make sure you open the scene called candle start version 01. Okay, and here in the network editor, you see here I have the candle body and I have the fire emitter and I have a camera. Okay, so if I dive inside the candle body, you see I created some nodes. Okay, so this is the body and this is the tube. Okay, so this one. I created the edit and adjusted some vertices. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see it more clearly. And I applied mountain and then another mountain and I applied material on that. Okay. And I loaded the material here in this section. And here you see, let's go back and the body is consists of tube. And here you see, I have the poly extrude. And of course, I forget, I forgot to delete the uh, this notes. You don't need that. So I will delete that. Okay. So, and here I have poly extrude two and fuse to merge the vertices. And of course I will delete this nodes too. And I have a subdivision and another material for the body. Okay. So this is the wax material. If you go to the material palette, you will see here, I have the wax. Okay. And, and here in the fire emitter, if I dive inside, sorry, let's go back and put the render flag here and let's go back and dive inside the fire emitter. And you see, I have simple sphere and I change the radius. Okay. So make it rounded. And the reason is I made that rounded because I found out that when I, cre I create the candle effect, I can get nice curved fire at the bottom. Okay. So let's go back now. And now let's select the fire emitter and let's go back to pyro FX and I will click on the candle effect. And another thing, if you noticed here, the candle is very big. Okay. So that's okay. Because if you made the candle too small, the candle effect will not work properly. Okay. So I tried that. So it's okay. If you have a big scale of candle, the most important that you get the effect you want. Okay. So now let's hit play and see what we get. Okay. As you see the uh, candle effect going through the container, so we can adjust the container size by selecting the pyro and make sure you select the handle tool and let's move that up. Okay. And let's scale it from the side too. Okay. Something like that. Okay. So let's try again and see. And as you see, the candle, is, the fire is not r realistic. So let's adjust some attribute here. So if I go to the pyro solver here and I will change the temperature diffusion to about 39. So I am not guessing these values because I tried to create this effect before. Okay. And the cooling rate, I want the fire to be cooled very fast. So I will change that about six, sorry, nine, five. Okay. And, and here you see, I have the viscosity. So if I change that, this will make the flute or the fire thicker and heavy. Okay. So I will try uh, something like 0 0.13. Okay. So let's hit play and see what we get. As you see now, the fire is more thicker and dense. Okay. This is because the viscosity. And another thing, I think I need to change the buoyancy. This is the, this works like the gravity. So I will set that to 0.3 because the fluid rising very fast. I don't want that. Okay. So let's see that again.
So now let's adjust some settings in the shape. So we need to add some turbulence, okay? Because we don't have any turbulent on the uh, fire. So I will check the turbulence and I will set this value about 0 0.5. Okay, so let's see what we get. As you see, the turbulence is too strong. So let's change that to 0 0.1 and let's hit play so let's decrease that a little bit more so 0 0.02 it's okay and let's hit play and see Okay, so let's play and see the result. I think this is okay. The turbulence amount is okay, I think. Okay. And let's go back and see what we can change here. So I think everything is okay here. Let's go back to the turbulence and see if we can change something here. And the pulse le length, okay? So this will make the turbulence move a little bit slower, okay? So this is the timing of the turbulence. And the turbulent, I will set that to one. I think it's okay for now. And let's go back to the combustion and let's see if we can change anything here. The gas released, if you set this one to two, this will make the fire a little bit bigger. Okay. And the flame size, if I set that to higher values, this will make the fire bigger or the flame bigger, higher. 0 0.7 and I think that's it for the effect so let's cache the file so let's hit play and see okay so let's go to the camera and let's see the result I think it's okay Another thing we need to do is to make the container a little bit bigger, something like that. Okay, and let's check again if everything is okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. So now let's cache the fluid on the disk. So I will go to Pyro Import and I will select the DOP IO, this, this node. And then I will go to save to file and here you can set the name and cache the file, okay? And after you cache the file, make sure you click on load from disk, okay? So let's do that. I will set a name for that or let's go, let's click here and go to my temp. Let's cache it in the temp, okay? And in the test for now. And I will set a name, candle. Dot. Dollar F capital F dot B G E O, and dot S C to compress the file and click accept, and I will click on save to disk in the background, okay? So as you see, asking me to save the file again, so I will save the file, save as, I will set that to finish. Okay, so let's click on save to disk in the background. By the way, if you don't see this render manager, for example, if you clicked on that, you can go back to a render and scheduler here you can 
see open that again okay so i will come back when the cache is finished okay the cache is finished so now i will close this window and i will click on load from disk and when we created the candle effect houdini created the candle shader for us okay so if you see this shader you will see here we have the ramp we have the fire effect and we have the smoke we can control the density scale and the smoke brightness okay so i will leave uh, that and uh, the density sorry the density i will leave the density scale and here you see i changed some values okay i set another slot here and here okay and this is the yellow and this is orange color okay so i didn't um, uh, change a lot of uh, things here okay so i will go back to the material you see i have the candle material and sorry we have the wax material and here you see i changed the substance scattering to a one so this is the amount of light going through the candle and and I changed the uh, roughness to 0 0.7 okay and remember when you enable the the subsurface scattering this will make the rendering slower okay so don't forget that and the pr principal shader this is for the stick here okay so this is just simple a shader with a black color on it and another thing in the out and in the mantra and if i go to the render uh, sorry to the uh, sampling i set that to four by four and i increase the quality of subsurface scattering for because we enable the subsurface scattering here in the wax so that's why i i i changed this value okay of the subsurface scattering so we can get rid of most of the noise okay so that's it what i did for the candle effect okay and another thing we need to do now is to select the uh, pyro import and create a light okay volume light so we want the fire emits light so i will select the pyro import and i will go to volume light i will click on that so now as you see we created a volume light okay so now let's go to the render view and let's go to the camera and click on render and see the result okay as you see the light coming through the candle and going through the wax material as you see in this way we have more realistic shader because we enable the subsurface scattering and after i did the render i applied some glow in after effects okay so that's it for this lesson i hope you enjoyed